Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great. Today I want to show again one of my gear indicators and this time the customer had a special request. He wanted 12 volt inputs and uh, he had a certain logo and um, that's why I want to show it here also for him so he knows what he's getting. So anyway, without further ado, let me turn it on. It is connected to my um, power supply. What you saw that looked like orange is red. I'm sorry, I don't know what to do with my phone camera. Even though this looks like red on here, it looks like orange, but it is red. Believe me, you will see it when you get it. So it has this nice logo that I, he sent me design, I had to edit it to fit the screen. And um, here's the 12 volt input, actually it's 13 point something on my power supply. And he had only three gears that he wanted to show. One of them is the reverse. The other one is neutral. And the third one is drive. Don't mind the double thing here. It's just the connection here. I'm looking back and forth from the phone to the through the phone and then directly. So this is it and i will ship it out to him tomorrow and let him know his tracking number while we are at cars i want to show you also my keychain that i designed a while back i didn't had the chance to make a video yet so here it is it is kind of dark isn't it here okay let me put this away real quick I am actually waiting for a camera holder or phone holder that I will use to make videos. So anyway, it's still kind of a little dark, but uh, you'll get the idea. So this all started with this here. I found this on Thingiverse. Actually, uh, it was a keychain for 3D printing. It did not have the grill and it also did not have the tires so it looked a little bit different and I did edit it and made this and then I had the idea to make a keychain with the same design and uh, put it in acrylic in between acrylic don't mind the part here this is just for uploading code it will be gone once I'm finished with the code so it has a USB Type-C LiPo battery charging and it has NeoPixels and the clue on this is I have two acrylic pieces on the front one has the cutout here where all the electronic is and the other one the top one has the oh well, it's very hard to film uh, it has the uh, grill on here so anyway let me start it up once to turn it on look the other way all the neo pixels light up this is so you can use it as a flashlight without having to go through uh, any other mode and then when there's an on off button and the mode selection button and as you can see i did i had to i have to put my name on my pcbs and I made a front license plate saying 300C Hyri. Uh, I do have a 300C and uh, Chrysler 300C, so that's what this design is. So, anyway, you push the button, you have the regular low beams, you push it again, you get the high beam, which get brighter, and obviously the high beams go on. Here I have the low beam and the fog lights. 
Next mode is uh, emergency light, emergency blinker, emergency hazard blinker on all fours. And next mode is police light. I had to put a police light mode in here. And the next is a red light. This is good for if you want to see in the dark without disturbing others. I do it for my wife because at the time I go to bed, it's like 2 3 o'clock in the morning and it's dark in the bedroom, obviously. So I need a light to go there without disturbing her. Sometimes I use my phone and then she yells at me and uh, tell, tells me don't put the light in my eyes. Although I don't do it, but uh, it, she perceives it like that. So red light will illuminate that. And the next mode is, can you figure it out? It's three times short, three times long and three times short. This is the SOS signal and I made it in green because that's very very bright. You can see it from very very far. Actually I should try it at night and put it on the floor or put it on the street and walk away from it to see how far you can see it. And um, I did actually also try it with this little, little LiPo battery which has 200 milliamps. It runs for 9 hours on SOS mode. That's not bad. So if you're stuck somewhere, if you need help and uh, can't yell it loud, you can make yourself seen with this. And uh, I think most people will recognize the SOS signal and uh, come to your help. So this is it. I have not um, finalized the code as soon as I'm happy or I am happy with the code, but I'm a, I might add other features. Uh, I will desolder the uh, USB port so I can have this hanging on my key. So this is it. I had a few I showed it to a few people and I wanted to make a video. Oh, and yeah, I almost forgot. You can also see the Chrysler logo here that I have in silver. For stuff like that, I don't use the silk screen. I use the um, layer of the PCB and then do uh, the silk layer. So, or remove the silk layer on top of it so it can be seen it will not cover it up. And on the back I have a logo as well, but that gets kind of covered by the battery. Might need a smaller battery on this, but uh, this is what I had at hand and this is what I did. So technically you could make this um, for different cars, as long as you have a silhouette like that. Um, you can create a PCB, you can get the acrylic cut and uh, make your own keychain or use this as a I, all, I have to change this around on the next version because I always want to go to the right to turn it on but it's to the left to turn it on um, it will also make a nice reading light <laughs> so as you know you can you cannot have enough clocks as you can see here and you cannot have enough flashlights either. So anyway, this was it for today. I also want to thank my five Patreons that I have. Thank you very much. And to anybody who supports me by using my Banggood affiliate links. Or, well, I had nobody buy me coffee yet. But uh, if you want to be the first, you can buy me a cup of coffee or become a Patreon or just go buy something in my store. I have new stuff coming up that I'm working on. And um, if you want to get updated, please hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell so you can stay updated and not miss anything. I also have some other thing coming up. Let me try to move over to that display okay it's hard to see 
This is actually a project I'm working on for a different product, which has a 2.6 inch capacitive touch IPS display. And over here, there's a small display as well. And on this display, I did find a nice code example with a phone app that you can upload to your phone and install it. And what it does is, if you get any notification on your phone, you can select from the list of possible notifications that you can get, like Gmail, Messenger, Twitter, Facebook, whatever, even Google Weather. And uh, it will relay it to this display. And while it's sitting still or not doing it, but while it's listening, it does show the time, day, weekday, day, and uh, month. And this was originally <clears throat> written for OLED display. You can see it over here. That's why I tried it first and then converted it to the IPS display. And uh, I find it actually very useful because it's not going to be only for my product. But I'm going to make this as a standalone uh, gadget as well that you can put on your desk. Because every time I get a notification about the email, or mostly it's email, I have to either unlock my phone and uh, look what it is or from whom it is. Or, well, I'm mostly on, on my PC, um, at my PC. I have to open the browser, or the browser is open, okay. But I have three email addresses, so I have to check each tab to see from whom the email is and what the subject is. And on this one, I do get notified without having to touch anything. You can also get notified when your phone rings or if you receive an SMS message or whatever it is. So if anybody is interested, please do subscribe so you will get notified when I show the final version of the product. Anyway, this is it for today. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'm actually very good at replying to comments. And you just can check it in my older videos. There's barely a comment that I don't reply. Unless it's really a stupid question. Then uh, instead of give, giving stupid answers, I don't answer at all. But that doesn't happen that often. Anyway, this is it for today. And um, thanks for watching and take care, everybody.